At last count, there were 19 million military veterans in the U.S. Each night, 38,000 of those brave men and women find themselves on the streets homeless. The nonprofit U.S. Vets is working to change that, providing housing, meals, job placement, and counseling, delivering on a promise to serve those who served. Ahead of this memorial holiday, we are honored to be joined in the studio by Jessica Golson, the executive director of U.S. Vets, and also and from Inglewood, and as well as Vietnam veteran Eric Washington. Thank you both, and thank you for your service. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your backstory, how you ended up homeless. Well, actually, um, my wife had uh, one of her aunts uh, had, was passing away, so we went to Atlanta and was staying down there nine months. So when we decided to come back home, I had lost a place where I was at, where we actually gave it up. So I knew I had to find more housing. And I know, formerly through U.S. Vets, it's a good resource for veterans to go to. So I came back to L.A., got into U.S. Vets, and um, I know I can go through the process of getting VASH, which is um, actually like a Section A for veterans. Okay. So, um, so I stayed there, went through the process, and uh, got my housing. And just as of last week, you formally are housed by U.S. Yes, Vets? Yes, I have a beautiful apartment in uh, Playa Vista. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> and how has life changed in just this last week? Um, well, not much. You know, um, I mean, it, it kind of has uh, because um, now I'm finally out of the program because um, I had been there about 18 months or so and uh, stayed very active while I was there. Um, my wife, she had passed away last year. Uh, we had been together 22 years. So when she passed away, I stayed very connected to U.S. Vets because um, I have PTSD and other issues from when I was in the military. So I know me separating me from U.S. Vets at that time would have been detrimental for me. Mm -hmm. So I stayed at U.S. Vets and stayed grounded, stayed busy at U.S. Vets. And they kind of gave me the direction and, and the time to focus and, you know, replan my life. And uh, that's what's really helped me out a great deal. What does U.S. Vets do? Because it's not just about housing, right? Yes, uh, so we have several services. It's a comprehensive program, so housing is important for our veterans, but we also look at what other needs they might have, like case management. We have a whole team of case managers that are able to work with the veterans individually to identify what issues they might be having and can help them with those issues and find the resources that they need. But we also have workforce development. We know to become independent, again, you need enough income to take care of yourself. So we have a workforce development program that's comprehensive and robust and able to connect them to jobs. We also have um, dining services so all of our veterans can eat and other programs for families. We have a, a supportive service for veteran family um, uh, initiative that we're able to also support them when they leave. So there's a lot of services that we have there that are able to connect the veterans so that they can uh, be independent when they leave our program. Jessica, we were just, while you were speaking, we were just showing, uh, last year I was honored to yes. MC the Memorial Day event at your campus in Inglewood, yes. and those are, it's incredible housing and services are offered right there. So what does that campus specifically offer? So we have uh, transitional housing and permanent housing. It's a pretty big site, if you remember. We have over 600 veterans that live there. Um, we have uh, a room for over 200 veterans to move in and receive transitional housing for up to two years. Mm -hmm. If they want to live there on site, they can move into our permanent housing, but if they want to move outside of that, they can move out into the community and we will help them get what um, Eric just referenced, the VASH voucher, which can move them into the community and then they still receive case management services from us, so we follow them and support them even when they leave. Oh, great. Eric, what is your message? Uh, to other vets who, who may be struggling or may be kind of afraid to accept help. They view it as a, a pride thing and they don't want to admit that they need help. You know, it, it sometimes it's not just pride because I have a lot of friends who are former veterans who they have lived their life in the streets and, and homeless for so long. The transition from being homeless back to living in a normal environment is kind of difficult for some of the guys. Um, we, um, the U.S. Vets actually reaches out to a lot of these, they go to a lot of these sites where they're at, trying to let them know that there is a place that they can go to, mm. you know, like U.S. Vets or the VA in West L.A. I talk to a lot of them as well, and I try to get them to come out to U.S. Vets and take part of the, the benefits and, and the programs that are there, you know, because they are very beneficial, and, they, and they've helped a lot of veterans in the past. You're now a role model for them. I love it. 
Yeah, you're an inspiration. You. I'm so sorry about the loss of your wife, by the way. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, Jessica and Mr. Washington, I will be out there honored to take part in your Memorial Day event. This is tomorrow in Inglewood at their Inglewood site there. This is uh, the program really starts at 11 a.m., but I will have a guest speaker, Navy Captain J. Charles Plum. And then for the public, they can get involved and help support U.S. Vets. Uh, June 3rd, there is this going on in Long Beach. This is the Steps for Vets, the Run, Walk, Roll. It's at the Shoreline Aquatic Park. It's a 10K and also one-mile routes also available. For more information uh, or to make a donation, uh, raceroster.com and the website for U.S. Vets to make a donation. Uh, www.usvets.org or if, they, if anyone knows a veteran that needs help, they can call our outreach number at 310-486-0108. And Fox 11 and the Fox Corporation, yep. proud sponsors yes. of U.S. Vets as well. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you both. Thank you. Best Thank of you. luck tomorrow. Best of luck to you tomorrow as Thank well. Thank you. Oh, I get to be with these two again. Yeah. Yeah. It's an honor. To you out okay, there. good. Thank we'll, you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you.